Hi, I'm Sigufta. I'm here at the premiere of Life in a Day and I am very excited because soon I will be interviewing the director, Kevin MacDonald, and some of the people involved with the movie. Can you just tell us what your involvement was in the movie? Well, we were, it just so happened that the day that they wanted this event to take place, the 24th July, was our golden wedding. And we, we had a little camera, which we bought specially for the occasion, and uh, we filmed some, some vows we made, up, which were really to entertain our guests. And uh, turned out Kevin and crew liked it, so they put us in the film. What are you hoping that the future generations will um, pick up on when they watch this movie? Well, I think that this is a movie that almost everybody can enjoy. It's a funny thing because I started making the movie thinking it would only show at a few film festivals, that it was quite an art house film. But I've now realised that having seen it with a lot of audiences, that it's very accessible. It's very easy to enjoy this movie. And, and in fact, all age groups can see it. My six-year-old and nine-year-old sons are in here tonight to watch it. And um, so, so I think even, a, even a, a, you know, younger children find in this a lot of food for thought and a lot of entertainment. Because a lot of us nowadays live our lives on the internet. You know, we spend, I don't know, three, four, five hours a day on average people on the internet. And this is a movie which is about that life. It's about what it's like to spend your life on the internet. How did it make you feel knowing that your footage was going to be in the movie? Um, yeah, he was very happy to hear that. Um, now, some of the um, scenes in the movie, they were so ordinary and so normal. Why do you think it was a good idea to have them there? Well, for instance, we had over 10,000 people sending in brushing your teeth from all different parts of the world. Now, that's a very ordinary, mundane thing. But to see that everywhere in the world is kind of fascinating, to me anyway. And to see a sort of montage of that, so that you see, you know, somebody in uh, California brushing their teeth and then you see um, somebody in, in, in rural India brushing their teeth with a stick and uh, the, just those contrasts and similarities are what the, f the, the, the soul of the film is. Our scene is uh, the day July 24th I had come home from the hospital I had a double mastectomy after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, we knew we were coming home that day but we still wanted to go ahead with the project because it was an opportunity to be a part of, of this of this film this experiment as they called it and um, you know and, and we just felt we didn't look you know f we didn't look further than probably that day to say this would be a fun thing to be a part of um, we could document the day that I came home um, we would have something fun to do we love we all love my husband's a film editor we're always taking pictures and films over so it was really no different than just another day um, and then we, we look back at it now after this whole experience and say, my gosh, how lucky we are that we get to look back and see how far we've come. Yeah. In some scenes in the movie, there are like um, some hints towards poverty. How do you think people are going to react when they see that? I think that you can't make a film about the world, about, the, about that's trying to be global, without noticing certain fundamental political things. And the most fundamental is that there's great inequality and that there are many rich people and many, many very poor people. So for instance, we asked everyone to answer a question. What do you have in your pockets? And in a way, the idea behind that question is to, is to see what people will say about what they have, what possessions they, 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 they own. And of course, in Haiti, we had people opening their pockets and saying, nothing, I have nothing in my pockets. In America, you have somebody opening their pockets and they say, oh, I've got my Lamborghini key. And that says it all about, you know, the lottery of where you're born in the world and how fortunate you'll be if you're born in certain parts of the world and not in others. Why do you think people should go and see this movie? They should go and see this movie because it's unlike any film they've ever seen before. And that in itself is a good recommendation. There are all so many movies with explosions and car chases and, you know, um, uh, people in ridiculous makeup being aliens and villains. This is a movie which is unlike anything you've seen before, but it's set in the world that you'll recognize. And I think it'll make you appreciate life in all its many, in all its various poses. You'll see all of human life here and you'll be, I think, laughing and probably crying in the film. It's very emotional. Here we are. Um, the premiere's at an end. Um, it's been a fantastic night. I have spoken to some fantastic people and the movie is coming out on the 17th of June. So I hope you all go and see it. And I've had a great time. I hope you do too. Bye.